It's an old cliche that you gotta go where the ducks are. Well, it's old, but it's very true. This little 14-foot job boat is great through getting me through flooded backwater and flooded timber, but when you're in a field, boat's not gonna do you much good. And that's when you need a layout blind. Now, layout blinds are great, and they have revolutionized the way we hunt ducks and geese, but you have to know how to use them. This is the Quapel Valley, where the term big sky is an understatement where the endless fields and small ponds are home to thousands of ducks beginning their journey south. Most of the land is harvested pea fields, the ducks love it, and decoys stand out in the open areas. But it's a challenging place to hide your human form. The key is to find an area with some extra cover. In our case, this pea field has one spot of wild grass. The grass is only a few feet tall, but that is plenty to hide a layout blind if you do it correctly. And I want to show you what we did with these layout blinds. Where we have them laying, we have the grass that's immediately below them pulled out and pushed up. That's the layer of grass you see around the bottom edge. Then we took grass that was far behind us and we used it to build the clumps in these straps up on top. Get them up high so they'll blow in the breeze like the rest of the grass that's all around. If you do it all right, it doesn't matter what you wear, these layout blinds will hide you. The layout blind will hide everything up to your face. Remember, Nothing stands out more to a duck than the glare of human skin. So as the ducks approach, sink low into the shadows of the grass and the blind. You'll know when you get it right. Here they come, I'm gonna come right over the top. Coming right over the top low. Look at them set it up. Get ready guys. Coming low in front, low in front, whole bunch. Let's go, guys, let's go. Good shooting, boys, good shooting. An extra tip, when you're gathering brush to put in the layout blind, get it from as far away as you possibly can. You don't want to disrupt any of the natural cover around you. I've seen a lot of guys make the mistake of creating a bald spot right next to their layout blind. That looks as unnatural as the blind itself. That's this week's Duck Tech Tip. Now you'll notice Mike's entire tip was about finding the right place and how to hide your layout blind. So now you need a blind. And Mike's back in the field with a new product. This is the final approach pack and go. As layout blinds go, it looks like most, but there are some really nice features to this blind. First, the backrest, it's padded, so it's gonna be a little more comfortable out in those frozen cornfields. And they put an extra pad up here by your head, that's gonna help on the neck when you're stretched looking behind yourself for the birds. The trap doors are spring-loaded, so it's a little easier to get up and get on the ducks with your shotgun in your hand. And these woven loops, four layers of them, all the way around the blind. That is gonna be for tucking grass and brush so you can match whatever terrain you find yourself in on your particular hunt. The other thing that I really like about this is the size. It's big enough that you'll be comfortable, but not so big as to give the profile away to the birds, and the floor is waterproof. But the best feature of the pack and go is the ability to pack and go. Pull all the pins, fold the layout blind up, and clip it together. Throw it on your back, and you're ready to go. Final approach pack and go is right about $200.